you smile in the morning Following the linings on your cheeks Wow, oh, we're here guys! That line is so crazy guys like, I've never seen anything as serious as the ones that we went through It's like the so long We were almost like this this way, but we made it But anyway, um, I'll update you guys once we're in Milan Because I don't want to do too much right now because we're, we're really, like just about to like take off so I'll update you guys. So first we're going to Milan, obviously, but I'll update you guys for what we're doing after that and what I'm going to be doing in part two this film. So, yeah. There's nothing like the way that you adore me. I can feel your love from miles away. Hi guys, we're in Milan. I'm so excited. Oh, actually, we're not exactly in Milan. We're at the airport. Milan is the actual city of Milan is 45 minutes away from here. So, but this is apparently Milan. Such a scare. Milan Malpensa Airport. Apparently. But <clears throat> anyway, right now we're exchanging our money to Euros so we can, you know, pay for stuff actually in Euros here, like we're supposed to. So yeah. Um, I'm not going to give you guys too much details yet. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to give you guys too many details until we get to our hotel. So, yeah, my arm is starting to hurt. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Shut up! I'm so sorry. I did not vlog anything past the airport because we had had a rough day. So, first of all, we were struggling to find transportation to Milan's the center. Uh, Central Milan, Milan Central, or Central, Milan Central, sorry. So we literally had to, we had to take the airport bus, and then we were struggling to find transportation to our hotel. So we literally tried everything, taxi, Uber, whatever, we couldn't find anything. And so we ended up having to take the subway, and then from there we had to walk all the way to our hotel. And it's almost 6 o'clock. And we did all that for five hours straight. So yeah, I had a rough day. But you know what? It's fine. Cause now it's we know- It's not fine! It is, cause now we know what to do. Cap. Shut up. Okay, anyway, I'm in my hotel. It is actually really nice here. Um, I'm gonna give you like a mini tour. So the current bed, this is gonna be my bed. I cleaned it first. And then this is my brother's bed. And then, as you can see, it's a loft. See, there's my brother down there. Say hi. Hey. Mommy, say hi to the vlog. Mommy, hey, say hi. Hi. Okay, so we go down here, and then we have a little dining area, a sofa Just bed. you guys know that TV is very trashy. Why? Because all it has are Italian channels. Okay, so you can watch Italian TV. What? Can it not? And then we have a little stove top and kitchen area. And then right here we lead to the bathroom. I think this is the best hotel yep. we've ever had. This is the best hotel we've ever had. Okay, so now that I'm here, I am going to start explaining everything that's happening. So you're watching part one of the vlog. So part one is obviously going to be today, and then tomorrow- I thought this was part two. Shut up! You said yesterday was part one. No, I'm doing two parts, like half the trip is part one, the other half is part two. Now can you be quiet? Okay, anyway. So part one is going to be t obviously today, when I arrived, and then tomorrow we're going to be spending the whole day in Milan, and then- on Wednesday, we're going to be taking the train to Zur not Zurich, Interlaken, which is like, it's like a small town near Bern, and we're going to like go visit the mountains and that kind of stuff, and then we're going to spend the days in Interlaken in Switzerland, and then we are going to take the train back to Milan, and that will be the end of part one. Now part two, I mean, we're not going to be staying in Milan after Interlaken, we're just stopping in Milan so we can take the train to Lake Como, which will be the start of part two, and then we'll spend our days in Lake Como, and then we're going to come back to Milan and spend the rest of our trip in Milan and go home. So, 
Yeah. Not really, but technically that house in New York is like our semi home because we always go there. So yeah, I'm really sweaty. I should not have worn jeans, but I did. Uh, yeah. Y'all, my brother thinks everything is cap. And look, he has a newer, he has a newer phone than me. How dare you? You're only 11. And I don't care if you say you're gonna be tall. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. In the light in your eyes, tells me stories of life in a far perfect place where I wanna stay. almost eight o'clock at night and yes it's really bright out so i'm supposed to set it like nine o'clock tonight no it's really exciting about it anyway i changed into this jumpsuit because we're going out for dinner at this really nice italian restaurant and i just wanted to have a little change of clothes since well i've been wearing those clothes since i was on the plane and i not feel nice and fresh so i put on a new pair of clothes and right now I'm going to do my makeup. Okay, so I didn't put on too much makeup because I'm only going out for dinner and then coming back to the hotel. But it's enough. Oh, wait, I was in an area where there's like no sun. Or I can't see my face. But this is what I'm like now. And I decided to wear my charm list that I got from Pandora. It's a little not arranged properly. It's fine, I'll fix it later. But if we're going to this Italian restaurant right now, I just, I know we have to walk there, but it's only like a seven minute walk. And we don't know how to speak Italian. So we have to like use Google Translate or not, just like the regular translator app. But yeah, we, I think if we can go through five hours of trying to find our hotel or trying to get transportation to our hotel, I think we can handle this, so. And it's pretty much around 8 and it's so bright out. And it's not gonna get like completely dark until like 10 tonight. So, yeah. Living in your arms as it's gone by. It's easier to find. Oh, oh. So I had to take the leftovers home. Not home, back to the hotel. But anyway, um, we right made it through day one. Yeah, and it was a hassle, but we made it. And that's all that matters. And I fainted. No, you didn't. He was close to passing out, but he didn't. Anyway, uh, um, right now, I'm gonna wait a little bit chill out and then i'm gonna take a shower and then i'm gonna read and then i'm gonna go to bed because we get well rested for tomorrow because we're going to duomo <laughs> vlog this morning at all but I did get like a couple things in so first thing this morning I'm gonna look down because it's easier but we went out for breakfast at this really nice pastry place it was like super nice I don't know what I ate there but it was super good I also had this like <clears throat> so we like shared off of each other's food and I had I also had a mango it was like two croissants like one of them was stuffed with a mango 
and the other one was stuffed with apricot. They were both really good, but the mango one was absolutely amazing. After I had that one, I did not want to eat anything else. I just wanted to eat that. That's it. But anyway, we ate that, and then we took a little walk. I mean, we had to walk to the um, pastry place from our hotel, but we took the walk back. It was super nice. I really like the architecture here because it's like a mix of like modern art, modern buildings and then it also has, still has that like classic traditional Italian style which is what I really like about this area and I'm kind of sad because we're leaving this area tomorrow and then when we come back to Milan we're actually staying in a different hotel it's not this one so I mean that's gonna be disappointing but you know it is what it is but anyway right now we're gonna get ready we're gonna rest chill and then we're gonna get ready to go to Duomo, which is the church. And then uh, I'll show you guys what we're doing for the rest of the day. But all I know is that for right now, we're gonna go to Duomo. And yeah, I wanna show you guys the view. Cause we get to wake up to this every single morning. It's really nice. Oh God, there's a pigeon. Well, okay, anyway, right now we're on, we're walking to the subway because, did I actually turn it? Okay. Anyway, right now we're going to be walking to the subway. I mean, we are walking to the subway because we are going to be going to Duomo. Well, actually, well, we're going to go to a museum first. I'm not sure which museum. That all really depends. But we're going to the museum, and then afterward we're going to go to Duomo, take some pictures, you know, that kind of stuff, and check around. And see all the stuff we got to do in Milan. Well, actually, we're not completely done with Milan after this trip because at the very end, we're also going to be staying in Milan for like three more days. So we'll get to see more Milan like after Lake Como. But anyway, yeah. It looks very nice around here. I love this building. It's like so pretty. Sorry I didn't get any footage on the way. It was kind of busy, but... Anyway, yeah, they skipped our stop because apparently the station there is closed. So we need to get a different stop, but luckily this stop isn't too far from Duomo. But we're gonna be going to the mall first. So get this nice gelato mango. Taste test time. Oh, this is Oh, wow, this is good. Yeah, it's good. Did you try it already? I tried the pistachio. You tried the pistachio? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Heartstopper, God. They even got you reach Sam, which I'm surprised about. And what do I want to do? How big is this book? I wonder. Looks like a lot of pages. So this one, Love Hypothesis, Ventipus. It's upside down. All your perfects. <clears throat> I would get this, but they're all in Italian. Oh, they haven't got that. 16. And Radio Silence and Solitaire. Oh wow. Hey, look, it's Da Vinci. Shut up. Alright, so we spent about right. three hours here. So right now we're just gonna go down to the train station. We're gonna go take some rest of the hotel and then have dinner. Okay, 
anyways, we got back to our hotel. It's our last night here before we take the train to Interlaken. Yay, yeah. Okay, anyway, it's around almost eight o'clock. I still don't like how the sun sets like really late and can't that kind of snow. Ah! Okay, guys, here's the t-shirt I got from today at the merch. Not the merch shop, the souvenir shop. It's super cute. It's like this little daisy over here. And it says Milano over here. Okay guys, so I took a shower, I ate dinner, and it's around 10.30. So I'm gonna go to bed now because we gotta wake up early to catch our train to Interlaken, which is gonna be about a three hour ride. But it's gonna be cool because I'm gonna be on a train. And literally the first time I've been on a train or an actual like subway was in Europe. And wow, it is so easy to get to places from the subway and it's so like cheap too. Like like one ticket only costs like two euros, which I was like really surprised about. So anyway, good night. Good morning guys. It's about eight in the morning right now. And I just woke up because we have to catch the train. So it's eight o'clock, so our train leaves at eleven twenty, but we have to be there by the um we wanna be at the train station early so we don't miss it. Like <clears throat> we almost missed our flight, so it's gonna be no wait, so we're gonna leave the house by ten, take the subway, which it takes nine minutes to walk to, nine to ten minutes to walk from the hotel to the subway. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna take the subway to Central, which is about 10, five, 10 minutes. So it should take like 15 to 20 minutes to get to the train station, but we wanna be there as early as possible. So we leave at 10, 10, 15 at the latest, and we get to the train station, whatever, like at least half an hour early. And we just sit there and then we wait for the train. And then we head to Interlochen, and that's what we Interlochen day one. But we're not gonna necessarily be there so technically today counts as Milan day three and interlocking day one because well we're obviously gonna be in Milan for the first part but then we're gonna be on the train for like most of the day and then interlocking we should be arriving around three so we can literally set up the day there do the stuff and like, see around the village and that kind of stuff so yeah I'm gonna have to breakfast right now I'm gonna miss this view every morning but you know what, I'm probably going to get a better view in Interlaken because there's going to be a bunch of mountains. So basically the- hold on. I'm going to try and- Okay, this should be better. Maybe. Okay. So the deal is when we go to Interlaken, we're staying in a bed and breakfast for- Well, obviously we're going to stay for there for like about- we're going to stay for two nights and then at the I think part one ends when we get back to Milan we're not going to stay in Milan we're going to stop at Central so we can take the train to Lake Como or Como and that will be the start of part two okay so this is what I'm wearing today so I'm wearing the top that I got from the merch shop not the merch shop souvenir shop I remember it has a little daisy and says Milano on the top. And I'm just wearing my black leggings and I'm gonna wear my sneakers with this. And don't worry, my hair it shouldn't be this messy right now. I just need to, you know, unmessy it. If there's even a term for that. We're leaving the hotel now. We already said bye to our room, but bye hotel. Zooming in on you. Hi. Oh, we're leaving. Well, we actually are leaving. Look. That's in Yeah, we are. So 
so right now we are in Spears. It's we're not quite in Interlocking yet. We um, our train stopped in Spears, and now we just take another train, like the local train, um, to Interlocking. So I think that one is coming about 20 minutes ish. But guys, look at this. Like, oh, wow. And especially through this camera, like, how can you, like, not like this? Like, it's just gorgeous. Like, and the water is so blue. There's, like, no way this is real life. This looks so much better than the camera than it does in real life, though. To be honest, it looks so much more colorful than this. Oh my god, guys. I literally kind of. I still can't. I'm still in shock that I'm in Europe. Like, I've been, it's gonna take me a while to process this. Like, I'm gonna be like, home, and I'm gonna still process that bit to Europe. God, you guys this is the view we get to see every morning from our bed and breakfast so yeah we finally reached interlocking so anyway we're here and now we're just gonna chill out for a little bit you know get settled in down to the stuff okay guys so i just got ready and i'm changing to this top from american eagle and these trousers I forgot where i got them i think they're from h&m not 100 percent sure but oh, do you want to bring your hat I don't have a Okay, anyway, right now we are going to be going to something clue. I literally forgot. What's the place? Um, what's the place called again? I don't know. Harder Clum? Oh yeah, it's Harder Clum. So it's basically like we get to walk to the train station and it's like a vertical train. It like goes up to a mountain and it has like a restaurant up there that we are good to go eat dinner at. And oh yeah, this I'm wearing this necklace too and obviously my camera case. I like to keep it on my side because then I can just like take it out whenever I want to report something. It's super easy. I have a little outfit change here. Okay, guys, here's our dinner and his. No one cares. And this is the view we get to eat from. Yeah. Oh, look, guys. What? Okay, so then I'll thank you. Strawberry. And on the other side, it's like black something. Sorbet. And my brother got a vanilla. Guys, this is absolutely. Hold on, let's go over there. Can I do it? Also, people with like parasailing here or paragliding or something like that. And someone like flew, was flying over there, and it almost hit that the top of that tower over there. Okay hey guys, we're at the river. It's so pretty. But now I'm gonna test to see how cold the water is. It's very cold. Okay, I'm just gonna open the front foot. And put it in. Okay guys. I'm only gonna Okay. Oh my god! That is so goddamn cold! I need to get... I don't know if you guys can see it, but like those two dots in the sky. There and there. Those are people parasailing. Oh guys. 
sunset made it look so pretty. And since it's so late, like it's 9 o'clock right now. Oh, wow. I touched it. You touched what? Wow, so shocking. <laughs> okay, so the lighting isn't that great, but it's fine. So right now we got back to our bed and breakfast and right now we're just gonna like focus on like planning what we're gonna do for tomorrow. We're, just, we're probably gonna take a boat ride. And, but anyway, right now I'm gonna uh, take a shower wash my hair because I haven't washed it in a couple days and then I am going to go to bed and probably read my new book. Um, actually, I'm going to show you guys what book I'm going to be reading. So this is the book I'm going to be reading. Oh god, okay, I'm just going to show you from here. So Some Are Broken Rules by K.L. Walther. Three, two, one. <laughs> Arguing again, arguing about something so simple. Make it clear, tell me what. This is, this is a bed and breakfast. We are going to be going upstairs so, or somewhere. We're trying to figure it out. We're gonna, they have a table reserved for us, and we're going to be going up there for breakfast. So, what we do for this salsa breakfast, and I know what you might be thinking why is there an egg in the carton? Well, in Switzerland, if an egg is, is colored, that means it's boiled, and the opposite means it's not boiled. So technically, this orange egg right here is a, is a boiled egg. How cool is that? So right here they have eggs, and then they have yogurt and granola, and they have a bunch of cream cheese and butter for the bread over there. And then I'm eating the yogurt and granola before I'm going to get some food from the self serve bar. Okay, I know the lighting still is great over here, but I changed. I did my makeup. I know my eyeliner looks a little thick, but it is what it is. It looks fine. And then I wore this dress. It's like this pink dress. Hold on. Let me you guys get a better view. Yes, yeah, the dress. And yeah, I'm also wearing some slippers with it because we're going to be going on a boat. So right now, yeah, I'm going to be going on a boat cruise on the river. It's going to be really fun. You're running back to him. Feeling insecure, feeling like there's more to your character. Every tear that you cry is worth it in the end. But baby, tell me, how have you not figured it out? Alright, guys, so we're on the boat cruise. It's going. Yeah, it's going. Yeah, it's Let go and fall into the garden that you grew You would finally know that you don't have to be somebody new yeah. It's raining for real now I don't want to go pick up this I don't have a hoodie So I'm using my cardigan as my hoodie I literally cannot believe that tomorrow we have to say goodbye to all this because we are heading from, well, we're going to go to take the train to Spias first and then we're going to take the train from there to Milan and we're not actually staying in Milan, we're just taking the train from Milan to Como and the train is only like about 15 minutes. Whoa. Oh yeah, the train was like going right over. Yeah, so the train ride to Como isn't going to be that long. So tomorrow we have to wake up early again, like we did for when we were coming here. What? But when we go from Como back to Milan, we don't have to wake up as early, because the ride there from the train isn't that long. So, but I'll explain all that in part two.
We're in a grocery store right now. But it does look kind of, look kind of like America. Except everything's in German. Okay, guys, so we just got back to our hotel. And now I'm gonna read for a little bit. Anyway, I, what I did was I changed into some of my clothes that I was wearing this morning. I switched my necklace because I realized I was wearing it backwards. And then I softened up my eyeliner a little bit because... Uh, see, it's coming this yeah. way, you see it? I should probably just reapply some concealer over there because it looks a bit dark. That side is raining. And then um, I also reapplied some mascara. But right now we are just gonna, uh, we're gonna take the bus and we're gonna go back into town. It's like almost five o'clock. So we're gonna go back into town, and we're gonna get some groceries, have dinner, maybe walk around, you know, that kind of stuff, because we are leaving tomorrow for Como. Well, never mind. We're not getting the 511 train, or maybe not, because it's raining right now. So I'm just gonna come in here. I'm gonna sit right here. Okay, I could sit. And I'm gonna tell you guys the rest of the plan that we have so far. So, so far, Tomorrow we are going to wake up early and take the train from Spears, or no, to Spears from here. And we are going to, there, we're going to take the train back to Milan. And like I said, we're not staying in Milan for another day. We're going to take the train there all the way to Como, but it's only like a 50 minute train ride. So it's not even that long. But anyway, when we reach Milan, that will be the end of part one. And for, I'll just give you guys some like a heads up for part two. Okay, that was the tr the boat, by the way, the boat we just took. It always makes that like whistling sound. But anyway, for part two, it's gonna be starting in Milan and we're gonna be heading all the way to Como with the train. And then we're gonna spend our days in Como. And then we are going to head be heading back to Milan on, I forgot what day, but. <sighs> We're heading back to Milan, and then we're going to spend the rest of the time in Mar Milan. And then the last full day we have in Europe, we're going to be going to Venice. So we're going to be taking it to, like, the last day on the 5th. We're going to be taking a day trip in Venice, and then July 6th is when we're going to leave. So basically, the last thing we're doing here is going to Venice. Yay! Yeah, guys, it's hailing now. Oh, it's hail. No. Look at that. It's Wednesday. pure Wednesday. hail. Oh, my God. Yeah. Look at that. Never mind guys, we're gonna get the bus. Catch it at least. It's good it oh, should be late. But yeah, what? we're gonna try and catch the bus. Y'all, there's a rainbow. That's sick. Look at that. Guys, like there's an even bigger one over there. Thank you. Yeah, let me see that. That's so cool. It's like a snow globe. Yeah. It is a snow globe. I will never get tired of this view. To bed it's about 10 30 and i'm just gonna read my book really quick like maybe read about, like 30 pages or so like i do every night and i'm going to go to bed so yeah um day part one ends tomorrow when we arrive in milan and part two starts when we leave for a como so yeah you make it Is look how low the clouds are like they're going below the mountains like so normally they do go below the mountains but today they're going well below the mountains like like almost to the ground like look at that look at that one over there it's literally so close to the ground okay anyway today is our last day in Interlaken and technically our last morning too because we're right now we're gonna catch the bus to get to the train station to go to Spears and then the Spears train to Milan. 
and that will be the end of the vlog for part one and then we'll start part two from there so i'm gonna really gonna miss this place i wish i just had a better view in the morning instead of all the clouds covering everything also it was like raining this morning too like i knew i was like, gonna expect rain it doesn't rain all day though like the first day we came here it didn't rain at all yesterday this there was two thunderstorms yeah, there was two thunderstorms, and there was also hail, which I showed you guys. Like, the thunderstorms didn't really happen until, like, the afternoon, and then, like, towards, the, like, and then at night, I think it was, like, another sh oh, yeah, it was thunderstorming last night. Did you hear that? No. Yeah, it was thunderstorming last night, and then, yeah, it, it was raining a little bit this morning, too. Okay guys, so we arrived in Spews and we're waiting at the station right now for our train to come but it's going to be a while before it gets here. It's going to be here at around 12 o'clock and it's 10.45 right now. So we have like a good hour and 15 minutes. So what I think I want to do is I want to read my book so I have time on the train to take a nap because it's like about a 3 hour, 2 hour and 45 minute ride. <coughs> And then once we reach Milan, that will be the end of this part one. I gotta let your hair down, place the flowers into your hair. You don't have to care about anything you used to care about. When you want to smile, I'll be 